Right, this is the second video in the um, How to Trade Forex series that we're putting together. Short videos, less than five minutes. Um, bas basically designed to help you understand the strategy effectively and help you trade that strategy effectively. So this video we're going to be talking about uh, levels. So the first part of levels is we have three time frames and three time frames only. We have the three hour, the one hour and the 30 minute. Okay, my levels come off the three hour. So what I'm looking for is firstly what I refer to as an inside fractal. So there is an inside, there is a fractal, you can see the triangle, and it is an inside fractal, and I'll explain now why. I'll let you first highlight that. So there's my fractal, okay? So understand what a fractal is firstly. Fractal is an area where either buyers or sellers have stepped in and decided that's a place to drive the price down. Okay, so in other words, it is a support or resistance level on some time frame um, or for some reason that is pretty much where buyers and sellers are seeing um, either profit taking for the bulls or a selling opportunity for the bears. Okay, what I refer to as an inside tail, price moves past. See these bars here, price has moved past it. That is my level. Okay, so I know coming back that level, there's a chance to buy. And if I'm breaking through that level, there's a chance to sell. Okay, so that's the first level. The second level is gaps. Now, gaps are fairly common, uh, pretty much in all instruments. And if I just zoom in here, there is one right here. You'll see there is a gap there. In other words, price opened and closed there. And then the very next day, this is a period separated, the dotted bar, price moved up. So if I just use that, there is the close and there is the next period open. So there is a gap there, okay? Price typically always come back to test those areas. Okay, so that is also another level. You can always expect something to happen at one of those levels, right? And then the next um, gap, because there are two types of gaps at the first one, the next gap is what I referred to as a Brooks gap. And we're going to have to just go over here for that. Let's delete the noise. So a Brooks gap is pretty much similar principle to a fractal gap. So there's the tail. Price has broken through all the way up. I expect price to come back and test this area at least or break through that area. And you can see in this scenario, it broke through. Okay, so there's another area where you can expect something to happen. So with that in mind, you can see there is one there. There's my tail. It broke down. Um, there is another one that you can see how price came back up to test it there. Now, if I look to the left, you'll see how price interacts with those two gaps. You can see profit was taken there, down. Okay. And this one was just short of it. And we tried again where we closed it there. Okay. So those two, that gap is probably more important than a normal standard gap. The next level is the 200 EMA, and that speaks for itself. You can see there is a 200 EMA, and you can see price moving off it. And you can see we're trying to test it here. You can see how we're bouncing off the 200 EMA. It's purple line, 200 EMA. You can see how important that is to the setup. And then the last one is your Fibonacci setups. Okay, so we don't really have anything here. There, there we go. So Fibonacci setups. Just put your Fibonacci tool on and you're looking for the 61.8. There's your 61.8 and you can see price action being very volatile around that and then it moves. So move down, retracement, a continuation. Okay, so those are the levels. So the only levels that we utilize in this strategy and um, what we'll do in the next couple of videos is show you entries, exits, as well as some uh, price action that we're looking for. Anyway, look out for those videos and uh, we'll catch up with you later. Cheers for now.